All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast Channel. And today we've got a really cool little fixed blade from Artisan. And uh, comes in this box from Artisan. Very simple. Uh, and it is the Artisan Sea Snake uh, designed by Mike Emler, E-M-L-E-R. Um, and this is a really cool uh, design, to be very honest with you guys. Very thin, uh, very lightweight. This thing is 3.17 ounces for a 6.78 inch long uh, knife. The blade is 3.14 inches of Warncliffe satin, I mean, look at that, belt satin, but looks like uh, finish. Uh, just look at that, guys. It is, you can tell that this is a work knife. Um, so right out of the box, and first of all, say hi to Ren and Stimpy. Uh, this knife comes by way of Artisan Cutlery uh, through the Black Widow Pass Around group to me, and I'm very thankful for that. It is so cool to be a part of that group, and that Artisan sent this along. Uh, really cool uh, a Kydex sheath uh, with the attachment points and a lanyard, basically, uh, for wearing around your neck. So, uh, for me, I tried wearing it around my neck, guys. It's, it's, I mean, it's only, like I said, it's only 6.78, so almost 7 inches. Um, and it's only a little over 3 uh, ounces, so 3.17. But it, it was a little big for me around my neck. I mean, I did wear it for a while and it was fine. It didn't like, you know, torture me or anything like that. Uh, but but it's just not, I would prefer to get a clip for it and um, put it horizontally or something like that uh, for me. I mean, everybody's got a different way of doing it, but that's, that's me. So let's look at this blade one more time. Um, well, not one more time, again. Uh, just really well done. We've The only billboarding we have here is the Artisan logo. And then on this side, of course, since it's Artisan, if I can get it in focus, we have Mike Emler's, there we go, uh, ME Design. And then we have the serial number and the AR RPM9 and China on the blade. This is a uh, lightly, I, I wouldn't even call it, it's very smooth, but there's a little bit of texture, definitely grip on uh, the G10, green G10. You got the full... A tang coming all the way through, and uh, it's definitely not a neutral handle. It is made to take your your um, index finger and index it, and it is also made to wrap around. Now, guys, for me, let's see this handle. Uh, boy, I can't find the handle length all of a sudden. Uh, but basically, what you can do is you can take six point uh, seven eight inches and subtract uh, the blade length, which is three. Uh, so basically. A little, about three and a half, a little over three and a half inch blade. But then you've also got this amazing finger choil. Plenty of room for even the biggest hands. My buddy Kyle over at DTOM Knives and Gear would fit his paws in there just fine. Uh, the jimping to me is great. Uh, we do have a nice flat spot up here. So if you wanted to get even further up or do this kind of thing, uh, you can. But that jimping locks you in, guys, between being in the finger choil and and in that index point, and like, oh man, and let me, guys, you guys know I never do this on camera, and watch, I'll mess it up now, uh, but I, I just can't even tell you, this thing is super thin, the thickness of that blade is 0 0.10, that's it, and so I don't ever cut on camera, but I thought I had to do this, this thing, whoops, and see, I told you I was going to mess it up. I was going. I should have stopped while I was ahead. Um, really? There we go. Okay. But anyway, we're going to stop while we're ahead now. But and, and he goes and does it again. But it is, trust me, I'm not doing it right now. But anyway, it is incredibly slicey. You saw it the first few times. I told you I was going to mess it up. Oh, goodness. Uh, the life of a knife reviewer. Uh, it is super slicey, guys. This thing, for about any utility task, I could see using this. I think I would love to have one of these for the work I do where I would need to cut rope and uh, like paracord and uh, tape and, and boxes and any number of things. Uh, this thing is a little workhorse and it is light and awesome. 
I, I'm impressed. I'm very impressed. There is no lanyard hole because you obviously have a sheath uh, here with a lanyard hole that you can put uh, whatever you'd like. In this case, it has uh, where it can go around your neck. And again, uh, it's pretty cool. Now, I will tell you, I wish, and this is part of the reason I didn't want to keep it around my neck, um, it's kind of light. It, it pushes out of that sheath very, very, there you go, very easily. Um, so I wish it locked in a little bit better. That's just me. I don't think it's going anywhere, guys. I mean, it's not going to come out. Nope, can't make it do it. So again, it is fine. It's just me. So uh, this particular green one, the only place I found it is White Mountain Knives, and I'm going to have that down in uh, the description, um, yeah, in the description, and it's right at $59.99, so $60. I've seen a black one at Blade HQ, about the same price, um, so check that out. Guys, I I'm really impressed with this thing. I didn't think I would be when I first saw it, uh, but it is pretty daggone cool and very, very slicey. Now, what do we talk about all the time? Use the right knife for the right task, and for me, for just basic lightweight EDC task. This thing is great. Um, and it's a budget-friendly item. So check it out. It's the Artisan Sea Snake designed by Mike Emler, uh, right at about $60. And uh, we have the paper shavings uh, to prove that it's good and sharp. So leave me some comments. Let me know what you guys think of this thing. Has anybody experienced it? Any questions, any issues? And guys, I am so thankful for all of you taking the time to listen to my opinion on these knives. And, uh, you know, if you like what we're doing, uh, just check it out further. And thanks for watching the Knives Fast channel.